Hello and welcome back to our email deliverability challenge. Today's focus: spam filter algorithms. We all know that using spam words might harm our campaigns, but the real problem lies deeper. To beat the spam filter, you need to understand how spam filters work. You need to think like one. You need to be the spam filter. The big question: How do spam filters work? Truth be told, nobody knows the exact algorithms spam filters use. Otherwise, spammers would exploit them. But thanks to the first outreachers back in the day, we have some insights. So, what are spam filters looking for? Sender's IP address reputation. Is it on any blacklists? Email accounts have a reputation. Email service providers share information about email account activity among themselves. Email headers. Email content. Spam filters scan for typical spam patterns, especially notorious spam words. Stay with us, and we'll delve into these later. Email source code. Links and attachments. They are screening for phishing scams and viruses, and the list goes on. Scared? Don't be. You can make friends with spam filters and easily pass their checkup. Start by creating a separate domain for your outbound outreach. It should be similar to your primary domain. For example, if your main site is coolwebsite.io, opt for coolwebsite.com for outreach. Next, authenticate your domain. Recall the SPF DKAM and DMARC discussions from our first week lessons. Think of them as your domain's ID card, verifying you as a trustworthy sender in the vast world of email communication. If you missed the lessons, check the video description for a refresher. Adopt a clear sender identity. In your email settings, combine your full name and brand name in the from field. Ensure the from email domain matches the sending domain to optimize inbox delivery. Warm up your email account. We cannot emphasize it enough, and yes, we've said it countless times. You need to be warming up your mailbox constantly. Gradually increase your sending volume to prevent triggering spam filters. Match your warm-up volume with your regular email campaign sendings. If you send 5,100 campaign emails daily, use a similar warm-up limit. Verify your email lists. To claim them of outdated or incorrect emails, sending campaigns to invalid or inactive addresses leads to a high bounce rate, which is a red flag for spam filters. To avoid that, always run your contact list through Snovio's email verifier. Personalize your email's text and subject line. Spam filters are adept at spotting mass-produced emails, flagging them as potential spam. Remove inactive recipients. You can track them with Snovio Campaigns Analytics. Create a separate list for these recipients and send them a re-engagement campaign at a later time. Monitor your bounce rates to steer clear of spam filters. Snovio detects bounced emails and stops sending sequences for such recipients to prevent further bounces. The bounce rate protection feature also pauses campaigns nearing risky thresholds. Avoid spam trigger words. Email service providers use the spam word rate as one of the many factors when deciding your email's fate. But a consistently high spam word count in your emails will raise a few flags, so don't dismiss this factor. To detect spam trigger words in your email copy, here's a handy compilation we've crafted for you. Although many email senders now have a built-in spam word detector that helps you with that. Today's challenge: clean up your email lists, review and analyze your past campaigns, and double-check your email authentication and DNS configurations. Let us know in the comments if you face any difficulties, and feel free to ask us questions as well. We're here to assist. I'll see you in the next video.